lead to my state in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has the power over him. The words of God. Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. Dear friends, the gospel of our salvation. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Words of Jesus. Assuring the Anna Lodi will resurrect from the dead. We all feel sad with the death of Anna Lodi, and so we have come to share the sorrow of her family. We have come because we wish to express our sincere sympathy. We find it hard to express sometimes we express this in words, but we express it more eloquently by our presence here. And by coming here, we are doing what Jesus did when he went to Bethany and was deeply moved and he even wept at the grave of his friend Lazarus. Yes, it is a Christian act to weep to those who weep. To an unbeliever, that seemingly is the end, the final end of existence. And with this perception, everything that goes before in life is considered a useless conception. And death takes away the meaning, the memory, the dignity, the hope and joy of human existence. But not for us baptized Catholic Christians, like Mame Lone, who is an ardent devotee of the Blessed Mother and Saint Joseph. Because for every Christian, death is only a threshold towards eternal life with God. Indeed, the world is a place of contradictions. There is so much beauty and splendor in God's creation. But on the other hand, we are confronted by the sign of poverty, which destroys human life, and sees which restrains the happiness of thousands, of hunger and one, which will take multitude. And in terms of terrorism and violence, who spreads the Bible of paradise into a valley of tears. Now, how can all the sufferings and contradictions be reconciled with the God who claims to be a God of love, a God of mercy and compassion, a God of friendship, a 
that apply when we all call other than the mother. Who you brothers and sisters is for the resurrection of Christ and his promise of our own resurrection that this dilemma is resolved. The contradictions between sadness and joy, hunger and plenty, sickness and health, war and peace is resolved only in the resurrection of the mystery of the resurrection of Christ. The first born among the dead. By the plan and providence of God, the whole universe is directed towards a divine destiny. From the moment of creation to the final moment of the resurrection of all the dead, this are in the hands of God. We only have to believe this process is got to be accomplished by the advancement of human technology. And its final point is its completion and the transformation of death. Yes, it is when both gives way to life, eternal life, that the perfection of the whole universe and of the individual human person is completed. When death is not the end but the beginning, when we can begin to see the face of God even behind the sufferings in contradiction of the continuous success today. Only faith, only hope, only love, and only God can teach us the true meaning and value of them that leads to the meaning. Unless the great king falls to the ground and dies, it shall only remain as the great king. But if it falls to the ground and dies, it shall live in their place. And so many brothers and sisters, the hope of the resurrection changes the inspiration. It turns sickness into a process of the attainment of perfect health. Because of the, in the vision of human life, death is not the failure of medical procedure, but the final healing. It is not a closed door, but a threshold to a world where all fears are wiped away and our hearts are filled with ultimate joy. As the poet puts it, death is blowing out the candle because the dawn of a new day has arrived. Or as we describe death to the children, we would say, as the caterpillar dies, the beautiful butterfly flies off into the sun. And this is our hope for a loved one who dies. Indeed, for none I love him. Even for ourselves, that as we shed this mortal body, we will be clothed with the new spiritual body in the resurrection. And we follow